What's going on everyone? Today I have something a little bit different. So as you can see this is World of Warships and uh, we are using the tier 7 French cruiser, the Algerie. Now this is actually the last match I played on this ship and even though it was performance wise the best one I've had with it, um, it didn't go as well as I hoped. Uh, my feelings with this ship are kind of mixed, uh, but uh, I think that uh, it's uh, a solid uh, tier 7 nonetheless. It mostly lacks in actual damage per minute, uh, even though it has some really good qualities. I'll get into that in a bit. So, already as you can see, we are hammering this uh, Gneisen Al. Uh, who is now showing his broadside, uh, but I'm not really bothering with changing to um, uh, AP because I just didn't think that he would stay around for long enough, so I just kept firing basically. Uh, and uh, soon enough, we're gonna use something that's really good on this ship uh, the reload booster. Uh, so the reload booster lasts for about 15 seconds and it halves the reload time, which means if you time it well enough you can get 3 salvos out in this amount of time, in 15 seconds. Normally you can barely get uh, 1 salvo in 15 seconds. Your normal reload time is 12 seconds. So yeah, that's definitely a power multiplier right there. Anyway, so we use it on the Gneisen now. We tried to take a pot shot at the York. Um, but uh, it didn't really work out that well, and the Gneisen now is burning badly right now. Uh, so the Algerie is the first uh, French cruiser to have 203mm guns, which um, helps it greatly. It increases its damage output, it increases its penetration, and uh, makes it a, honestly a better ship for its tier than the Galissonier, in my opinion. The, the Galissonier, with, with it, I, I always struggled to. Uh, get through the armor of um, battleships. Whereas with this one, as you can see, not much of a problem. If you manage to pen uh, like four to six of your high explosive shots, you can actually do pretty decent damage for high explosive. Um, so anyway, the Gneisen now is down and out, and we are moving uh, towards the other side of the island, but there is an Amagi. And we immediately start firing at him. So it has a very nice selection of... Um, oh, and uh, by the way, it seems we're spotted by something, and that something has a radar. And uh, I didn't show the very beginning of this match, but uh, what's probably spotting us, well, at least was spotting us, was the buffalo from the enemy team. We'll deal with him later. Uh, so we just keep uh, hitting the Amagi, uh, since now we're unspotted. And uh, we're, we're just trying to make him burn for the most part. Um, he's at a pretty bad angle for us to use any armor piercing, so we're not even bothering. And he has very little health. He started healing, but it won't be enough. One of us is going to take him out eventually. Uh, we'll just have to see which one. I'm not using my uh, other reload booster because I think that it's a bit of a waste. Uh, we should use it in a more uh, trying situation. So anyway, he's slowly uh, going down, his uh, health pool just withering away uh, at a steady rate, and eventually one of us is going to take him out. Um, so the other uh, consumables it has other than the reload booster is a speed booster, which really helps you try to maneuver uh, in slow speeds and also increases your top speed to about 37 to 38 knots. You have a fighter plane, which can be quite helpful against, uh, you know, um, uh, aircraft carriers. Although you know how the meta is with uh, the CV rework and all. Uh, and you have a hydroacoustic. But now, uh, what's more interesting now is well, the buffalo here. He has he makes a rather interesting play. He just goes broadside against me, and. Uh, I find no problem just uh, punching through his citadel. The buffalo is not exactly known for its armor. Uh, 
so yeah, we, we basically destroyed him and he's trying to turn away a little too late and it doesn't really matter either uh, because even though this um, was a bunch of overpens because I aimed too high uh, the next shot where he tries to turn in again um, is going to be uh, the final one and uh, just like that uh, we're seven minutes into the match and we have 85k damage so so far the match looks pretty even uh, but uh, one thing of note is that we have lost all of our destroyers and uh, one of our battleships the others have lost two battleships and two cruisers so far this is gonna bite us later on um, so we haven't capped any of the bases so far and uh, what we have ahead of us now is the Friesland now he's not focusing on us right now which is a good thing because you can make us burn really badly uh, but uh, we are focusing on him. We don't have anybody else to work with um, close to us, so we so he's next. We are a little bit unlucky, and I probably aim too high, um, but uh, somebody else takes him out. Our, our, our buffalo, actually. So the other um, consumable that he has is a hydroacoustic search. Uh, which is obviously more useful than the alternative, the defensive AA fire. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, defensive AA with the current CV meta, it's quite questionable. But, um, I mean, if you think you're going to make it work, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not the, I'm not the boss of you. So, in front of us now, we have another uh, contender. And this is... Oh damn, I can't actually see it. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, the preview is actually a bit too small. Uh, and it, it's a battleship, anyway. And uh, he goes behind the island, and we kind of see it as a bit of a bummer to just... Um, arc the cells around. So we go for another target, which if I'm not mistaken is a Talin, which uh, honestly I didn't really like as an addition to the game, but uh, what do I know. Uh, we're just treading a bit lightly, uh, but we're starting to accelerate because the Talin is over there. She is on the wrong side for us. Uh, it means we're, if we have to chase him we're gonna have to go around the island and we don't really want to do that. The buffalo is uh, not having a good time. He doesn't have really all that much in the way of health. And uh, well, we just decide to break chase. Uh, the shells can knock over the hill over there. And we instead decide to go for the battleship that uh, we see. We still keep an eye on uh, the Tallinn in case he makes any peculiar plays that we can take advantage of, but uh, he didn't. Um, and uh, right now we seem to be in a very good spot because even though we are missing most of our um, uh, capture points, the enemy has B and C, we have more uh, ships and we also well, we have less ships now, but uh, it doesn't seem that bad, if you know what I mean. So, we have the York ahead of us uh, at about 12 kilometers. So we start firing at him. We use the reload booster so we can make him burn. Now, if I remember correctly, the York also has a uh, repair party consumable, uh, which uh, he's definitely going to use. He turns in, which means that these shots will miss, uh, but uh, we compensate for the next uh, time. And it seems that we miss again because he turned in very deep and he's just nosing, he's just uh, putting his nose in and he turns to the other side uh, and he gets our rudder. Uh, now we're trying not to use a repair kit, uh, probably a bad idea. Um, and we're still firing at him because he's focusing on somebody else and uh, probably for good reason since we are bottom tier here um, so 
So, so we just keep firing basically uh, for as long as we can. Did I say that this is a York? Oh my god, no, that's not a York, that's a rune. Uh, but uh, he still hasn't started focusing on us. Uh, and uh, we just keep firing at him. We try, we incapacita incapacitated one of his uh, torpedo tubes. And uh, we start uh, getting fire from the Iowa, which is not a good thing at all. Um, but we, still, we do solid damage to him, and at this point, I just decided to disengage. Because I think that uh, both the Iowa and the uh, Rune uh, are going to be on my ass, and I'm not uh, completely mistaken. I'm just starting away, I'm kiting, just trying to throw off the aim, and it works mostly well. And even in those few cases where it hasn't worked so far, I was kind of fortunate. Except for now. The uh, Iowa... I think hit one of my citadels. Now, for the rune, I think that I would be okay as far as penetrations go. Um, but the Iowa can be pretty nasty. Those uh, those uh, 406 millimeter guns, yeah. So we're still kiting away, uh, and I'm pretty confident against the rune because uh, the Alzari has got a bit of a troll armor um, uh, in the middle of uh, its broadside. So I'm just kind of inviting him almost, uh, something that I should have, reg that I probably regret in the near future. And uh, right about here is where I decide to finally disengage and stop firing, um, so I can be despotted. With concealment expert, you can. Yeah, and that was pretty bad. Um, basically, the Iowa just hit us for another. Uh, pretty solid hit and we're down to two digit hit points. We are unspotted but at this point the game is pretty much over even though there's three ships remaining on the enemy team. Um, the the Georgia which was firing at us and uh, the Rune. Uh, there's also as I said the Niowa which uh, I get confused. The Iowa is on the other side of the map, and it basically took out everything uh, on that side of, on that side of the map, or at least it's the only one that survived. And the rune is on relatively low health, but I'm still very, very cautious at gauging him because, well, he's he still has 11,000 hit points where I have uh, nil, basically. We're not in a very good place, and we. Can you see in the minimap that the Duke of York is, has kind of decided to YOLO the Iowa, which is a pretty bad move. Um, honestly, what the Duke of York sh should have probably been doing is uh, try and uh, flame the Iowa to death, if even if that's possible. I'm not even sure how much uh, health he was on. But anyway, because I thought that at this point the Bismarck had a good chance of dealing with uh, the rune, I decided to start firing. And I just uh, do some mad dashing, basically trying to prolong my short life for as long as possible. I mean, I think that I did pretty okay in the game so far. I'm just trying to make it easy for the Bismarck. Um, and, uh, he, and the rune isn't exactly doing the best of jobs, but neither am I. Uh, my shots are not exactly on point. And finally, he gets me. So the tally is about 1,000, well, 144,000 damage. And uh, yeah, so it was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty good match. Uh, what I didn't record was that later on, uh, the enemy team changed the round. The Duke of York uh, sort of just. Uh, as I said, YOLO'd into the Iowa, and uh, the rest of us, well, the, the, the remaining team just couldn't kill the Rune or the Iowa. And eventually, we lost the match. Uh, so I'm going to um, show you the post-game uh, stats, and uh, it was actually quite okay for me. As I said, it was the last match with the Algeri. Uh, after that match, I had 109,994 XP, uh, which meant that I had to use 6 of my free XP points to get 
tier 8, the Shower Martel, which uh, I will feature later on uh, in, in this channel. Anyway, thanks uh, for watching and uh, stay tuned for more.